Hello everyone and quickly right before the video starts I want to say something uh, Please uh, watch the video thoroughly because uh, you do not know which problem you have and uh, you do not know which one of the solutions might solve it I have seven solutions lined out for you One of those solved it for me Most of it, most of them have worked for many people and I hope it does work for you Please do consider watching the video till the end. I have a little short announcement to make in the end, so thank you for watching now, continuing on with the video. Uh, I recently started uh, playing Red Dead Online and I could not get into the game because I kept on having this error. Uh, the error said you are disconnected from the Red Dead Online service due to the fault in the Red Dead game service. And the error code is uh, something in the lines of 0x200. 2006 or something like that and I kept on digging into this uh, and uh, came across multiple solutions well one of them worked for me uh, I will be telling that at the end and here are all the possible uh, solutions for the error that you may be having whenever I try to load up the game the game loads and there is um, uh, the error screen obviously and then I cannot get further and even if I could get any further I could only play for around 5 to 10 minutes until the error is struck again so I will be going through some of those and here are a few methods that will hopefully solve your problem method number one using Google DNS Google DNS if you do not know is the DNS service that Rockstar requires for that you need to just simply go to run hit Windows plus R and type control and after you open up the control panel go to the network and internet settings that should be on the top and then you should select uh, your Ethernet or the Wi-Fi whichever you are connected to I'm showing right there and click on the properties after you've clicked on the property locate IP version 4 internet protocol version 4 and use the following DNS address I'll be given the address uh, don't worry the address will also be in the link in the description as well uh, just the prime preferred DNS is going to be 8888 and the alternative is going to be 8844 after you've done that cl click on OK and then uh, go to IPv6 I look at IPv6 and use the DNS I have provided the link to the DNS uh, for developers.google.com in the description below just copy that DNS and paste it just copy that top one and paste it into the first one which is the preferred and then copy the other one and paste it in the alternative as this as shown in the video and after you've done that let me put on OK and after you've done that just click on close and all of this should fix it for most of the people and if it does not fix it for you, here is method 2. Disabling all the unnecessary processes from msconfig and start uh, task manager startup. So for that you need to go ahead into Windows plus R run again and type msconfig msconfig and open up Microsoft configurations and from there select the services tab and click on hide all the Microsoft services. Uh, I have already done it here, but uh, click disable all and just select the two main things Rockstar Game Services and uh, Steam and select any others that you might want but do not select any of the VPN services or any VMware services if you have. After that click on the startup tab and go to task manager and do the same just uh, enable the Steam client and any other ones which are crucial for your computer to run and disable everything else. As shown in the video and if you've done that uh, it should hopefully work that is method 2 and if that did not work for you I've got method 3 method 3 deleting or renaming the social club folder in your documents for that first you need to head into the finder and go into the documents section in the documents section you should uh, locate rockstar games folder in the Rockstar Games folder, you would be able to see a social club folder. It just consists of all the profiles and everything 
uh, settings that require social club to run. These settings might be causing a problem, so delete or rename them. I, in this case, I am deleting them, and that's it. That should fix it, for most of the case. And if it does not, I've got method 4 for you. Deleting or renaming the RDR2 folder from the same path. It consists of the settings. We do not know what the settings might have changed and what is causing the game to not load up, so we uh, are just going to delete or rename that. Uh, this fixes for most of the cases. As uh, I had talked to Rockstar uh, Game Services, I had created a ticket. They told me I could just delete the folder and uh, just uh, the settings are going to change and nothing else. So. To do that, again, you're going to go to the finder, just locate the finder and go to the finder and then you can go to the documents folder, not the one I'm sorry, the documents folder and uh, click on Rockstar Games again and just delete or rename the Rockstar Games, uh, the redemption I mean, sorry. After deleting that, that should fix the problem in most of the instances. If it does not, I have even more solutions, but just remember, deleting this will revert all the settings you had set back to default, so you might want to change all the settings again. Uh, so if that doesn't fix it, I've got method 5 for you. Checking if the Red Dead Redemption process is getting a pass to the firewall or not. To do that, first of all, you have to go to Windows Firewall settings, just go to the search menu down uh, at the bottom right in the search menu you need to type windows defender settings and uh, firewall settings and in the windows defender firewall settings you need to do is click on the inbound rules and in the inbound rules check for red dead redemption 2 processes which are going to be sorted by name and uh, in the red dead redemption 2 processes you should check if one of them is private and three of them are selected to all. If not, you can uh, do that by right clicking them and select making them go to all. And uh, one should be private, the top one, and the other ones should be selected to all. That should hopefully fix it for most of the cases. If it is not, there is yet another method that I am going to show you. Now, moving on to method number 5, which is port forwarding. Now, you need to port forward the Rockstar ports and the Steam ports if you're playing it through Steam to be able to play the game properly. Because if ports are blocked, then the data you are currently receiving or sending would be limited. Uh, very, very limited. So, so the I mean, this is the best known method for the problem. Um, but I personally cannot port forward because uh, my ISP only provides a carrier grade NAT which is CGNet, which I will explain later on in this video. But basically what you have to do is log into your router settings by entering your IP ad uh, address and then going into the port forward section. There are a lot of videos in YouTube uh, which uh, uh, are going to teach you how you can port forward, but me personally, I cannot delve uh, much into this method because I cannot, as I said. But... <coughs> Again, you can just do uh, the just Google port forwarding uh, for your own router and then forward these ports for Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, this port will be listed down in the description as well, but uh, the ports are. You need to forward ports 30,211 through 30,217 TCP ports. And uh, UDP ports you need to forward are 6672 and 61455 through 61458 and if you are playing the game through Steam um, many ports would be added such as uh, TCP ports 27015 uh, through 27030 and 27036 to 27037 would be added and whereas for UDP port you are going to have to add 4380 and then 27 27,000 and 20 to 27,031 and 27,036 and the others are same. Um, this uh, method seems to be the best as it has worked for many people as I mean 
port forwarding, we're just opening the ports so the game runs more efficiently. And if you cannot port forward as me, I personally cannot port forward. I have a CG net, so the next method is for you. So now moving on to method number seven, which is the solution for a CG net problem. You might be wondering what a CG net is. A CG net, a carrier grade net service, is a um, uh, service that your ISP provides to you where multiple people, maybe the people in your surrounding area, or any other people that the ISP, uh, are subscribed to the ISP, the ISP provides a single IP address to all those people. Uh, so you do not get your own private or I think it's public IP address. So uh, many people are using the same IP address, so you may not have the access to your router. Not may you will not have access to the router, and this prevents the user from port forwarding or any network related utility usage require access to the router. The best way to get out of this is to dig a tunnel out of your current internet environment. And no, you don't have to actually dig a tunnel. It is just a terminology I used. Uh, the most simple option for this uh, would be to go to a good VPN service, but certain VPNs also block the game ports. Uh, from my own experience, the best VPN you should use would be mudfish.net, speedify.com, or the most liked NordVPN. These VPN services are going to allow you to play the game through a different server where there is no CGNet. NordVPN might not allow you to port forward, but that's something you need to keep in mind as well. The other way, it's a more advanced way that I have found that I personally use, is uh, port forwarding through portmap.io. Uh, basically what portmap.io does is provides you a temporary IP address in their server where you can forward the ports you need and the ports will be open through your internet service. I mean, there are many videos on how to use portmap.io, but uh, basically the things you need would be portmap.io and uh, OpenVPN uh, open software. Uh, it's called OpenVPN. Uh, just download those and uh, the, it's pretty cheap as well, portmap.io. It's $30 for a year of service, I think. And you can map as many ports you want to your computer. Uh, this solves a lot of problem. Like even uh, the main thing you might have noticed if you have played GTA Online with the same ISP is that people will suddenly, every single person in the lobby will leave the game and the lobby would be yours. I mean that could be good sometimes when you have to farm something but not definitely not in this case when you want to play with other people where you will get disconnected. This is the same problem as the people leaving the game servers in GTA 5. But in this, people do not leave. You leave. That's the problem. I mean, uh, there will be many videos on how you can use portmap.io on the internet. It's a pretty long and tedious process. So I will not be going to uh, in this video. Uh, you might want to check it out in the uh, interweb. Uh, um, mostly on YouTube, there will be a lot of video. And if all the methods don't work for you, I have something for you. Just have some goddamn faith in Rockstar, will ya? Or if you cannot, just quit up gaming and become a banana farmer in Tahiti or someplace. Thank you for watching. And that's all I've got. And now for the end note, if you guys made it to the end, I have something else for you. Um, hello everyone, whoever made it to the end of the video. Um, I have a short announcement to make. Um, if you had subscribed to me before, I mean only 80 people or something like that would subscribe to me before. Uh, you know that my channel name used to be Crazy Ace before. I have changed my channel name to Hot Ice now. Uh, and I have deleted most of the video, but a few of the videos are there. And if you are new to the channel, please uh, consider subscribing. If you really like gameplay videos, because I will be doing uh, those really soon. I have a few older videos on the channel up right now. 
uh, you can watch those. If you like it, please do consider subscribing. Uh, there are a lot of new games coming out, so uh, for now I will be playing Darwin's Project. Uh, that's a new Battle Royale game out on Steam. Uh, I'm, I know it's a pretty old game, but it was officially released recently. And uh, after that I've got a few plans, like the game made by Ubisoft, uh, Gods and Monsters is coming out. I will be playing that game, full gameplay video will be coming up on this channel. And there are a lot of games like Cyberpunk 2077, I'm, I pre-ordered the game, I am waiting uh, for the game to come out. After the game comes out, a full gameplay of that game is also going to be out on the channel. And after that, I am waiting for Assassin's Creed Ragnarok, I am a really big Assassin's Creed fan. After the game is out, I will be playing the whole game on the channel as well, so if you do uh, enjoy any of those, Please consider subscribing. I will be uploading uh, two or two uh, five videos a week if I can, if I get time. If I do not have time, I will be uploading at least two videos a week. So if you like gaming videos, please consider subscribing and thank you for your patience.